corollary to that is the crass on metal on metal total hips. And uh, that brings to mind what, what do you think today in 2012, soon to be 13, what's the best way to introduce new technology? Whether it be uh, artificial ACL or new technology in hip replacement. Right. I think we, we have to, we, we live with and we learn and if you think back at what we did in the 1970s or what we do now, it's like <laughs> night and day. We have to have new technology. But I think we have to have respect for our patients. And, and we learn by doing newer procedures on patients, but we have to tell the patient this is what's happening. Mm -hmm. So I think that new technology is important. Um, we have innovate, innovation is what makes us, I think, best country in the world. We we're very innovative people. But we have to be do it in a safe way for our patients. We can't abuse it. So what's safe then? Do you do studies at particular centers and get some outcomes prior to introducing it? Uh, that's, yes. that's one way to yeah, get and, that information. Yeah, and of course this is what the FDA mandates, that you do a preclinical trial. Mm -hmm. And we collect accurate data, as Jim Esch said. Right. We, we work good at collecting data. Now I think that it's become important to us to collect proper data and report that data. And then once it's gone through the clinical trials, and it does turn out to be pretty good, right. then introduce it to the general orthopedic surgeon. Mm -hmm. Before, somebody got a good idea, right. went to the academy, we started doing the operation. And uh, now that with implants, we've got that pretty well covered. Mm -hmm. When you change the surgical technique, we don't have that kind of, but I think we have the same responsibility, but we don't have a overseer like the FDA. True, because basically. it's not a new technology, it's a different technique. Right, and what Freddie's do, Freddie Fu is doing with changing from the single bundle to the double bundle is a good example. You don't have to have FDA approval. Right. You can just go and do the operation, and I think it's imperative upon us individual surgeons, if we're going to change our technique, to learn how to do it correctly. The FDA is not looking over us. Right, that's true.